All right, welcome. Today we're gonna to be painting some hot air balloons. And first of all, you're going to need to start out with a big brush like this. You should already have your paint. You're gonna have these colors. They're all gonna be your main colors. This paint is pretty thick, so you'll have some water and if you need to thin it down, you can. Because you're gonna to wanna to start out with the blue. So I'm gonna take my bigger brush here. I'm gonna dip it in like that, just like the tip. And we're just gonna go across. Now, as you can see, it is thick. So if you need to add water, you can do that and it helps it blend better. So I'm gonna get a little bit of my water and here we go. Get some there. I'm gonna be doing this in sections. The next color we're gonna be using is red. And you only want to do about two inches here on the top. And it's probably going to dry pretty fast because it's acrylic and water-based. So next I'm going to be, I'm not even going to rinse my brush out because these colors are going to blend. Um, so I'm going to get some red now. And I'm just going to go right below it like this. And you see how it's turning a little purple, which is good because we want those colors to blend together. And I'm gonna add a little bit more water just to thin that out some. And so you're just gonna keep going back and forth like this until the colors all kind of fade together. So next I'm gonna be adding just a little bit of white. I'm just gonna use the tip again and just wanna lighten it up a little bit here. Now this is the sky, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now I am gonna rinse my brush a little bit. I'm gonna just dry it really well with the rag or a paper towel. And next I'm gonna be using red again. And I'm just gonna go right underneath the purple. We want that to be a nice, vibrant color. So I'm just going back and forth here. I'm gonna add a little bit more white just here to the middle. And again, if you need to add more water just to help the blending go better, you can do that. And then I'm going to add some orange. This is gonna make some really nice colors. So you're gonna go right down here. And just slowly start fading them together. You're still gonna be using the big brush and you wanna kind of slowly go up like this and just blend everything again. Here, there we go. And next I'm gonna be using yellow. You just wanna use a very, just again, just, just on the very tip of your brush. And be adding those. You can rinse in between each color, just your preference. Some colors blend better together, so you don't really need to rinse your brush, but if you're doing some lighter colors, it might be best to rinse. All right, and some more. And then I'm gonna bring the yellow all the way, almost to the bottom. So I have about an inch left on the bottom. I'm gonna leave just like that. Okay, and I'm gonna rinse my brush now. And I'm gonna let this dry so that I can work on the next steps. So 
your background should look like this. Next, I'm gonna use um, a little bit smaller brush. You should have this size. If you don't, they're up at the table. And I'm gonna do the bottom. So right now I'm going to do about this much. Again, if you need to thin it down so it goes on smoother, you can. And I'm just gonna make a bit of a little hill here. I'm gonna add some water because mine's pretty thick here. And you want it to go on nice and smooth. So a bit of a hill. It's gonna go dip down here in the middle. And come back up. And you're just gonna color this bottom part in black. And just paint all that. As you can see, a little paint goes a very long way. You really don't need a lot to get full coverage on the painting. So, you should have a painting that looks close to this. And so, I'm done with this brush for now. So, I'm going to go ahead and rinse it out. And I'm going to choose a little bit smaller one here, kind of about like this. And I'm going to add my sun setting here. Just gonna go here, right down here where the hill dips down is where I'm gonna add my sun. And you wanna kinda pick the middle of your painting here. So, add something that looks a bit like this. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry. Next, I'm gonna go take a pencil and I'm gonna draw where I want all my hot air balloons. So we got a big one. We're gonna do a big one here in the corner. And I'm just gonna go right here, about one, two, three, three inches over from the top. And I'm gonna draw it. So kind of like a bit of, bit of an oval. I'm gonna meet me down here. And then I'll do the basket at the bottom here. I usually use pencil if I want to get a little bit more precise lines. You're obviously welcome to do freehand or free paint. So I'm gonna do a few more balloons, one here here and here, kind of staggering down. And again, I'm just gonna kind of do a, almost like an upside down water drop. And as they get farther, closer to the sun, they're gonna get a bit smaller. So they're gonna be farther away. One here, do one over here. So, so I've got one, two, three, four balloons so far. I'm also gonna make just some small ones. I'm gonna stagger it over here. Fill up the sky. Couple little baby ones here, really far away. I'm 
also going to make some birds coming flying up through here. But those I'm actually just going to paint on freehand. But you do want to use a very small pointy brush for those. And kind of slowly make them get a little bigger as they get bigger in here. So then make, you will want to thin your black paint for this because you want those to go on nice and smooth. So thin your paint a little bit, test it out on your plate just to see if it goes on smooth and then go ahead and draw your birds or paint your birds on. Should, should look something like that. I'm also gonna go ahead and use my small brush to do these little, little tiny baby balloons here. So, probably use my small brush up to on a couple more of these and then I'm going to switch to a bigger brush. It'll make it painting these much easier. Again, you are going to want to keep thinning your black paint a bit. So I keep adding a little bit of water every time I go in just so that the black paint goes on nice and smooth. here. I do still have one, two, three big balloons left. If you want to use your small brush with little baskets underneath, you can. It would probably make that easier. You don't have to get too detailed on the balloons. 
a lot of them they're just kind of silhouettes I will go in later maybe and add a little bit of highlights to them but that's about all the detail I'm going to do on the balloons Probably add more detail to the bigger balloons because you're gonna see more of them. So now I'm going to switch to a bigger brush because otherwise painting those balloons might take forever. <laughs> so I'm going to use about maybe this size. You should have that. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint this big one up here. So that I can go ahead and start drawing. Now, if you feel like the brush you're using is too big, you're welcome to switch to something smaller. It's really all about what you're comfortable painting with. If you're having a hard time getting nice lines with the bigger one, switch to something smaller. And I'm gonna have to thin mine down a little bit more. smoother when it's thin down. All right. And one more. I will probably be switching to a smaller one to get the cleaner lines on this. So I'm going to switch to something like that. And I'm just going to Use that to touch up here in the bottom. All right, you should have a very balloon filled sky at this point. And while that is drying, I am going to Use one of my thin brushes again. Get some more black paint. And work good so it's nice and fine pointed. And we're gonna be doing some trees here on the bottom. So all you wanna really do right now is start doing lines like this up. Keep going back and adding more black paint so that the lines are nice and smooth. I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way across. I'm gonna do smaller ones here in front of the sun. I don't wanna cover my sun up too much. If you don't have perfect lines, it's okay, because there's these are gonna be trees. We're gonna be adding little branches. So very barely, you're gonna to wanna to barely touch your canvas because you want nice, nice lines. And if you touch it too hard, it's gonna smush. We don't want that. So keep going here all the way to the end. All right, now we're gonna go in and we're gonna make little pointy trees. 
if you go through and add your branches like this, kind of feather them out. And we're going to do that to all of them. Just start to kind of blend together. It's okay because it's a little forest. Okay, so while we're working on our trees here, I'm going to take a quick break and I'm going to add a few highlights to our other balloons. So I'm just going to add like a little bit of white on one of my small brushes and I'm just going to kind of highlight around some of these edges here. It'll just kind of go with the shape of your balloon. And I'm going to do that to some of these bigger ones here. And if at any point you feel like you've made a mistake or messed something up, you are more than welcome to ask for help. And I will be more than happy to come and help. I even I make mistakes all the time, but they're pretty easy to cover up. So don't worry about it. That's really about all the detail we're gonna do on our balloons here. So I'm gonna go back through here and finish these trees. And once we're done with the trees, we are almost done. So. This is probably the part that's going to take the longest of your painting. Just the tiny little details sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but it makes it all come together in the end. Now when you're coming down here in front of the sun, they don't need to be as detailed because this is a lot farther away. Well, obviously when it's farther away, you can't see them as clearly. So doing some small little teeny tiny trees here. One big one it looks like I made here. Okay. And we are almost done. Probably at some point you're gonna want to thin your black paint down again. It tends to dry up start to dry fast.
I like to encourage people to just make the paintings their own. Add little details that you might like to do or see. You don't have to follow my directions to the T. Down here, feather these leaves out a little bit. Feather some of this. Okay. All right. So now I'm done with my trees. It's going to all come together. I'm going to add a little bit of white to my little brush here, and I'm just going to add a little bit of highlights here at the bottom. You don't have to do this part. I just I like to add some highlights whenever I'm doing a very dark painting. And if you ever want, if you need to touch up any places, you can. That. So this is our finished hot air balloon painting. It was fun. Didn't take very long, not too difficult. Again, if anybody needs help, please ask. Please just raise your hands. I will be happy to come by. I love helping. I love painting. I hope you guys had a good time. And if you want to hang this up, in your room just i use command strips with a little velcro just stick them on the back and they'll stick right up on your wall no nails anything which is great so there we go hope you enjoyed